we literally Nico you, this you... is so exciting because in the world of live television which you and I are both very familiar with hmm. we are now live on oh, Facebook word. which is so cool and why so I'm so fun. delighted to be introducing Nico Stain today to all of you is First of all, before I introduce my incredible guest this morning, I want to just talk about collaboration. So COVID-19 happens. I reconnect with Nico Stain, who was one of the producers when I was on air at Mnet. And Nico now does wonderful things. He trains speakers and he's, he's working on webinar WOW, how to take your digital experiences and take them to a whole new level. And I've been speaking about virtual presence forever, and you can be as virtually present as you would like, but Nico Stain, it takes it to a level of production. And he's gonna tell us this morning why you don't want to put baby in the corner. So very warm welcome, Nico Stain. Thank you, Nadia. Gosh, you just, you just put that so high that it's frightfully scary for me, but thank you very <laughs> much for the time. <laughs> so let's discuss, our world has gone virtual. You and I are hmm. working very hard on creating better virtual experiences for people. Tell us about your webinar tomorrow. Let's start with that. And also just some concrete okay. tips and advice to make them more magical. Thank you, Nadia. Yeah, so tomorrow's webinar is actually called Don't Put Baby in the Corner or Nobody Puts Baby in the Corner. And it's a reference to, uh, of course, the Dirty Dancing movie with uh, Patrick Swayze. But it's something that it was triggered when I was watching, you know, the beginning of COVID and everybody rushed out to buy cameras and lights and stuff. And they were presenting webinars online. But many people were just doing what they were doing on stage and they were now doing it in this digital realm. And I fe felt from watching it that so many times I saw presenters sitting in that tiny little corner and their slides sometimes for five minutes at a time, a static slide on the screen. And it freaked me out because in the, the language of television, we want shots to change and see things happen. And we want to see graphics and we want to see stuff happen on screen. And suddenly we were just confronted by the static thing. And that's kind of what moved me to want to start talking about this and helping people to improve their, their webinars. Now, for some reason, Nico, and I don't know why, but I cannot mm. hear you on this side. So, Nico, you if you can hear, hear me, me oh, good, you're back. Okay, that was weird. Uh, well, and, you know, let's just, before you carry on, let's just discuss mm. that for a moment. In the webinar world, we're more dependent on technology. And if that happens, just be totally transparent to your audience. Say we're having some technical issues Absolutely. moving forward. People are forgiving as long as you stay looking as relaxed as you were. So carry on. Okay, I'm carrying on and you can hear me now. It's all right. Perfectly. Excellent. Okay, so so I think that really where, where it started for me was to figure out how I can help speakers and, and people who present online to also get to not just be in the in the corner during a presentation because you really want to make eye contact and people want to see your mouth and people want to see you breathe on air because that's what's more exciting. And ah, obviously wait, wait, wait. So that's what baby in the corner is. Don't have a little <laughs> present in the corner and big slides. And we recently that's did a it. webinar, you and I, and most of the speakers, that's what happened. <laughs> We're sitting in a corner and I so desperately just wanted to make contact with them and see their eyes, you know, and, and so it freaked me out. And I thought, if I can help people to talk about these conventions, maybe that's going to be something that people will find useful. So this is something that Nico is going to be doing tomorrow. And, and tell us, Nico, don't forget now, voices coming in and out. Once again, voices coming in and out. That is very strange for me. So uh, this is okay. I have a feeling yes. that it is, it's probably a little bit to do with the interface on Zoom at the moment. It's possible that it's cutting out. So before, we while we can still hear you, hmm. for those people who want to watch you and hear you tomorrow, you are offering a complimentary session. Just give us the details. That's right. So if you look at the link below, I will provide you with a link and that is where people will be able to get hold of this or watch the webinar. It's going to be at 1.30 in South Africa and um, it's going to be a 90 minute talk about how all of this works and rolls out um, uh, on air and what you can borrow from television world and place into your webinar to make it work. 
So if it's 1.30 in South Africa minus six hours, that is what time mm -hmm. for us in the US? Oh, you're going you're gonna to ask me about maths now, aren't you? <laughs> it's 7.30 yeah, our it's time. Be, I will be watching. That'll be very early for oh, people. But you yes. will be able to also follow the link if you register, and there will be a recording of it, which is available for the next seven days anyway. So it will be available. So will you make sure that you write that link on my own Your Network with Nadia Belchik web uh, Facebook community page, please? I most certainly will, okay. yes. Thank so you. let's go back to, if you're presenting virtually, don't be in the corner. So tips again, thank you. Okay, so so obviously we're coming at you from a studio which is at WeWork and we have quite a lot of, this is in Sant in Johannesburg, and we have quite a lot of tech here that's busy helping me as you can tell. I mean, I'm standing with an actual keyboard, that's how I get to cut between things. So I could cut, for example, to the slides full screen or I can, you know, I can, I have a, a, a various options. In fact, this is a little logo that I can play in. Okay, you need to go out so we can see it. You need to see that. I think what's happening is, is at the moment, between us going through Zoom and landing up on um, Facebook, I think some of the controls are changing where, Nadia, you may be speaking, and at that time, it's cutting away from what I'm doing in the studio. But you get a sense of what we've, we've got here. What I also want to talk through with people in this webinar is to talk about television conventions. Um, also, you know, how you can place various elements from a television show in your, in your presentation. For example, you could sometimes play in video. Sometimes you can have a pre-recorded interview with a guest. Sometimes you can make use of graphic animations or short interstitials in order to break up the material so that it's not coming at you at one single monotone voice while somebody's explaining ad nauseum what's busy going down on a slide. So it's really to get people to play a little bit and just have a little bit more fun because at any time your audience may be looking at a series of different slides uh, uh, and things happening on their, just on their own screen. They may be seeing YouTube clips. They may be Googling something. They may have their WhatsApp open and they can be distracted. So in essence, anything that can take your attention away from what it is that's happening in the presentation is becoming competition to what the speaker is trying to do while they're talking on camera. And can I just tell people who are watching this is the good news is if you're listening to Nico, who is a highly experienced television producer and you're going, that's too daunting, you can hire him. That's what I really wanted to share with people today, Nico, is people can hire you. You can tell them what they you they'll tell you what their vision is and you can help them put in those elements like you've helped me. And by the way, this beautiful background behind me was created oh, yeah, by Nico Stain. And I think that's what also, yeah. don't you think part of this new reality is you have to understand what do you do well and what do you need to outsource? Mm -hmm. Surely. And I also think, you know, what's interesting is I think it's the basics. For example, I noticed some speakers in South Africa who, who rushed out and bought two cameras and they placed the two cameras very far apart. And so I'm just going to turn now to show you that a camera from the side while somebody is speaking is is not achieving much because we're not seeing eye contact and it feels as if they're speaking to somebody else completely different. So sometimes there are conventions that are in television and because you are moving from a stage presence into a television world, there are some conventions in TV that work differently and it's really to help people and, and just give them some guidelines in, in that space. So when you say I'm for hire, there's definitely some consulting that we can just do by seeing somebody's presentation and immediately giving them advice as to what they can do to structure the piece and what they can do to communicate better. Now, once again, I'm seeing you, but I'm not hearing you. I got to the point where yes. Nico spoke about, you can have two cameras and when you, mm. I can hear you again, tell us what two cameras we should have. For those of okay. us who are presenting online, you mentioned getting a Mevo camera. That is a worthwhile camera, right? Well, it, if you are going to stream and you are presenting in front of people, the Mevo is a quite a handy little uh, gadget that can follow face and cut to close up and long shot. It's almost like having a multicam studio. Uh, in, here, for example, I'm sitting with two cameras. You see a, a long shot camera and there's a close up camera. Now, what the Mevo can do is the Mevo can actually run a, um, 
in a single, uh, a very high resolution shot, it can jump in and find close ups of faces. So if you were to sit and interview with somebody, you can live stream from this camera onto YouTube or onto uh, um, a platform, a webinar platform, and the camera will handle the editing between the faces because it uses AI in order to do it. So there's some pretty interesting technology, but it doesn't have to be daunting. And I don't think people necessarily need to get into more tech. I think it starts by just respecting the, the various disciplines of television and seeing how you can just work with very tiny little shifts to begin to improve your presentation. So tomorrow, people can register. This is for a 7.30 Johannesburg time. That, uh, no, 1.30 Johannesburg yeah, time. That's correct. That is, um, we worked out 7.30 uh, New York time, Eastern time. Nico Stain will be posting all the details for this on my Own Your Network, which is a Facebook community. I'll also put it on the Facebook page under the video. But again, it's for anybody who is finding themselves, right, Nico, having to communicate virtually and saying, don't be in the corner. He calls it, don't put baby in the corner. Don't have the presenter in the corner with these large slides. Um, just one other trick, if you will. I don't want you to give everything away right now. You're so Definitely. generous. But one other trick that visually we can use to okay. really engage people more. Here's, here's a very interesting idea. You would notice that some webinar software actually gives you a mirrored image of what you're doing. And it confuses some people, right? But the important thing to keep in mind here is when you're speaking from your perspective, now in, in film language, we talk about good forces that come from the left and evil or bad negative forces come from the right. So generally, because our eye is trained to read from left to right, uh, that's what feels comfortable. Things that move from left to right on the screen feel comfortable. Things that move from right to left feel uncomfortable. Now, if you put yourself as a speaker, if I had to talk from my perspective and say left to right, left to right is actually negative for you. So even in your own world, you should turn your content around so that you tell people about good forces coming from what is essentially your right. So your screen direction is opposing what you would naturally do and bad forces would come from what is comfortable for you as a speaker so that's just a little tip of subconsciously you may be communicating with somebody and they feel uncomfortable because it's always coming essentially from their right which is a negative impact or a negative force that's just one little hint that, that is you could fascinating use. fascinating yeah. nico uh, the other thing you speak about is sometimes leaning in Correct. Tell us about the power of doing that. And then for the rest, people are going to have to sign up. for Excellent. The yes, of course. So this is not a tip that's in the story for tomorrow. But basically what you see here is a long shot. And generally a long shot shows somebody's hands and arms and stuff. And when they lean in to say something in close up, they would say, so in other words, this is what you have to remember. And in film, we generally use long shot and close up to communicate this kind of importance of what is being said. Now, if you're just sitting in front of your Zoom camera, for example, at the moment, and because of the accentuation that happens uh, with the lens that's close to you, you could just test yourself, lean back a little bit, and you'll have more space to use your hands. And if you lean forward by a half a meter or so, you're going to find that your shot in your face is going to be more close up. And so even a little move like that by a half a meter you can drastically improve what it is that you're saying by leaning forward to saying something very important I want to share with you is this information. That would be one of them. Nico, I have to tell you, I learn something new from you every time. And as we continue to have to navigate a virtual world, maximizing your virtual impact is so important. So Nico Stain, by the way, he can also help you write your book in seven days and all kinds of other fascinating things. All his details I will put here and on my Own Your Network Facebook community page. Join us there. And finally, Nico, just a reminder for tomorrow morning where people can register. That's right. So it is on Quicket. You'll see the link for Quicket. And from there, it'll actually be a Zoom and our, uh, a, a, a webinar jam would be the actual link where we're broadcasting from. Nico Stain and I go do one big shot again where you can see us on the screen because I thought that was so cool. You did it again where you saw us like right now you're close up. Can you go seeing us on okay. the screen? Do a long shot where you see us both on the screen. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Generally, there would be a slideshow running in there. <laughs> exactly. So.
go out again because right now I can just see you. Really? Yes. Anyway, by the way, he's doing this and all on I'm his own and it's completely fascinating. And he's taking our virtual experiences to a whole new level. There it is. He's got us on his screen and the world that is virtual now takes us from Johannesburg, South Africa and winter to Atlanta, Georgia and summer. And we say, as Walt Disney says, and I'm gonna end with this Nico because it's so pertinent to you and I, and yes. Walt Disney always said, anything great that has happened has because other people have helped us and you are one of those people. So thank you very lovely much. to see you, you so very much. and bring you the details on Nico Stain, 7.30 tomorrow morning, Eastern, 1.30 in Johannesburg. Thanks, Nico. Thank you. And Cheerio. we sign off and we end this beautiful Facebook Live. Thank you all for watching.